Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking all about the Mina Bay Emmy bag. So it has been a minute since I've had a full-size Mina Bay Emmy, and I forgot how great of a bag this is. It makes a fantastic work bag for me, obviously, because I don't have little kids anymore, but it also makes a fantastic diaper bag, toddler mom bag, travel bag. It's kind of like a all-in-one Mary Poppins bag. <laughs> I've had this size Mina Bay in black nylon, I believe. I'll put the link to the review I did on it either up here in the cards or in the description box. I've also done a massive Mina Bay Emmy comparison where I've compared the large size or regular size Emmy to the midi and the mini. I, I think I have all three in the comparison. Um, it's like a really informative kind of comparison of all three sizes. I pack them up, I put them side by side. So if you're kind of curious the different sizes of the Emmy, I have you covered on that. <laughs> but today we're gonna talk all about the regular size. I have it here in the vegan leather sand color and I love it. I've already like packed it up. I've been using it this past week. I kind of shared a little bit over on Instagram. Um, pictures of me using the bag and having it all packed up. It makes a fantastic work bag or like overflow bag for me. Um, we had a busy week last week. Um, my kids had a couple of different uh, chorus concerts. We had sports events. Uh, like it was just kind of a jam packed week and I was having to take my youngest homework with us like on the go and kind of do it in the car. And this held all of my stuff and I was able to slide in his whole three ring binder and his pencil pouch and like crayons and everything else that we needed and it just all fit in here so nicely. <laughs> So today I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the features of this bag and try it on for you. Then we're gonna put the camera down and pack it up so that you can really see how this bag packs up and the organization that it has. Let's go ahead and start off with the different ways that you can carry this Emmy bag. Um, right here at the top, you have awesome grab handles which make it really easy to kind of grab it in and out of your car or carry it or flop it at a shopping cart or wherever it is that you're going. Um, I like to use the handles just as is. You can throw it here over like the crook of your arm and carry it this way and it's really nice and comfortable because they're not a super short grab handle. Sometimes with big tote bags, the handle at the top is just that. It's like just a handle for you to carry it. But this one has a really nice, like comfortable drop length. So you can put it like over your arm. When carrying it like this, you can see the sides kind of fold down here on the Emmy, making it like a really cute silhouette. But if you wanted to use the shoulder strap that comes with the bag, you can definitely do so. This is probably my personal favorite way to carry this bag because it's just so comfortable. The strap is nice and wide on your shoulder so it really doesn't fall off when you're carrying it, especially when it's fully packed. And I feel like the drop length, again, is just a really comfortable length to carry it. And this, like I said, is kind of my favorite way to carry it, especially because it's like such a soft, um, tight bag to kind of wear against your body. Last but not least, as far as ways that you can carry this one is backpack style. It is a convertible bag, which means that you can carry it multiple ways. I don't actually have the backpack straps here with me at the moment. They're upstairs. I meant to grab them, of course, and bring them down for this video, but I didn't. Um, but I did want to mention, of course, that you can carry this um, backpack way. It's a way that I typically don't carry this one, but again, I think it's because I just don't have small children anymore and I think a backpack carry is super important if you're traveling or if you have littles. Um, I just don't have them attached for me at the moment. But it comes with two different straps so you can attach one here and one here and then of course one here and one here and you could be completely hands free and carry the Emmy on your back. As far as exterior pockets on the Emmy, you don't have any back here on the back. And then on the front of the bag, you do have a big magnetic closure that goes about down to here. It's the perfect size for your cell phone or your keys or hand sanitizer, something like that that you need to grab quickly. And then you also have two side pockets over here, which are nice and wide. You can put pretty much any size water bottle over here, honestly. Um, they are just really, really wide. Unzipping the inside of this bag, you have two zipper pulls on this one. 
and it opens up nice and wide so that you can see everything that you have packed inside. The organization on this Emmy is unlike anything that I've ever seen, honestly. You have so many interior pockets. You have two side pockets, um, two elastic pockets here in the front. You have a big zipper pocket back there in the back. And then here on the front of the bag, you actually have two additional pockets. So you have the elastic ones down there, you have this open slit pocket, and then you have this smaller zipper pocket. So tons of ways that you can organize this one and you can use it with or without pouches. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down, pack up the Emmy and show you what fits inside. All right, so here the Emmy is all packed up and every time I pack up this bag, I am quickly reminded at why I like it. I love all of the internal organization and it packs up so, so good. The lighting that's coming in is really giving off like a good, good amount of light and I feel like you can really tell the color of this sand. It's a really pretty neutral shade and the gold hardware is not like a shiny, shiny gold. Like my bracelets are a shiny obnoxious gold. <laughs> this hardware is a really pretty like light kind of smooth finished gold. I like it a lot. So what do I have packed on the outside of the bag here? I actually don't have, I don't think I have anything in this front. Oh, I do. I have my Coca-Cola chapstick. Yes, I'm a 13 year old. <laughs> my daughter gave that to me and it's really good. I've been using it. So I have that in the front pocket. You can easily fit like any size cell phone down in the front of this pocket. It goes really, really deep. There is a magnetic closure right here at the top. I don't like to put my cell phone here only because I like when this pocket lays flat on the front of the bag. I just kind of like the look at it, look of it. But what I do like is putting my cell phone over here in this side pocket because these are so big over here. So I usually will put it over here. Um, this is an iPhone 15 Pro Max, just for size reference. And I get a lot of questions over on Instagram about my phone case and I'm never able to show anybody because I'm like holding it when I'm talking over there. Um, but this phone case is from Target. It's like a squared, like really bright pink kind of obnoxious, but I love it. Um, and they have a couple of different colors and prints. Um, I will have it linked on my what's in my bag like um, page so you guys can see it. And all that this is is one of those magnetic like phone grips. Um, you can get it off Amazon. You get tons of different ones. I'll link the one, of course, that I have. But it just goes on there like really, really strong and you're able to hold your phone. What I like about it is my holder in my car as well as my tripod here at home when I make videos is magnetic. So I can just plop this off, put this on my tripod pod or my holder in my car or whatever, and I don't have to take the actual like case off of my phone, which is so nice. And this is just a really, really strong magnetic thing. So that's my phone in a nutshell for those of you that were wanting to see. I don't have anything in the side pocket over here and there's no pockets on the back side of this bag. So that is all I have attached or inside any pockets as far as the outside of this bag goes. I do have a little hair clip here at the top. It's just a floral one that I got from Airy that I love. So I usually just kind of, I don't know, attach that to the top. Moving on to the inside of the bag, as you can see, you have two zippers here that unzip all the way, making the bag open up really nice and wide. You can see everything that you have packed inside, especially when these sides kind of come up and open up really wide, you can get things in and out of this bag really easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with what I have packed in the middle of this bag, which is a lot. <laughs> I have it packed up for work, like heading to the office and just literally being all day out. Um, it's like everything that I would need inside here. I was carrying this bag the other night to a chorus concert for my older son and I ended up putting all of my youngest school books in here. I had a three ring binder, I had a math book. Um, I actually have back here in this zipper pocket still, I think. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's funny, I, didn't, I forgot they were back there. But I have a whole ziplock of like pencils we were doing as math homework. Um, but all of that fit in here really, really well. So it's just kind of like a great, like, I don't know, grab and go type bag, if you will. So what do I have packed inside the middle here? Back here in the back, I have my big Erin Condren notebook. This is a um, like eight and a half by 11 size, I believe. It's, it's pretty big. I think it's actually bigger than that with the cover. 
um, but I like to carry it anywhere that I can. It is set up in like a priority and notes layout. I've showed this a couple times, but I like to point it out whenever I can. I have these boxes over here and then I have a note page over here. I have a whole video on how I use this system and my planner. If you guys want to see it, I will have that down below also. But I have my notebook in there. Um, I have my iPad Pro just kind of hanging out in there and I do have the keyboard like attached to it just slipped down on there so this is the 12.9 so it is the bigger of the um i guess the two ipad pros that they have so i do think you would be able to fit like a 13 or even a 14. you could probably even fit a 15 inch laptop in here like no joke because these side pockets you don't really need to use if you don't want to so um this would be a good option um for like a work bag especially if you want a bag that's flexible for like work travel kids home what have you this is kind of like that all-purpose bag so up from that i have my planner this is an erin condren um hourly planner it is in the eight and a half by 11 size and i will show you just briefly kind of what that layout looks like so you guys get an idea but i have tabs over here um it is like my life I lo i'm loving this this year so that's what i have there um right up from that i have the medium packing case from lily jade these come in a set of three there's a small one this medium and then a larger one also comes with a wristlet tons of different colors it's solid on one side and then you have it clear on the other and in here i just have all of like my planner stuff really i have some notepads i have stickers i have post-its i have pens i have paper clips all, all that kind of stuff kind of down in here. What I like about it is that it's thin and it can just kind of go everywhere with me. So love these cases for that. Then last but not least in the middle here is the current book that I'm reading. I'm just starting this one. It comes so highly recommended from a lot of my friends. I've never read anything by Megan Quinn. This is a series I was itching to kind of get back into a series and I hope this one is as good as everybody makes it out to be. <laughs> Moving along to all of these inside pockets of this bag. Look at all of them. <laughs> you have two pockets back here, four pockets up here, a pocket on each side, and then of course that zipper pocket that I had those pencils in. So I'll go ahead and start, I guess, with these side pockets. Over here in this one, I just have snacks. There's always a pocket in my bag that has some type of snacks. I have chicken sticks, I have these edamame crunchy like snacks. I also have a granola bar or two. Yeah, always a kind bar usually. And I think that's it in that pocket. You can fit a ton more. Like look how big that pocket is. Definitely fit a lot in there or you can easily push it to the side if you have more in the middle section. There's also a uh, leather key leash inside here. So this is great to attach your keys, your AirPods or something like that if you need to. Um, over here on this side is actually a tech case that I got off of Amazon that I love. I got it last time, um, like right before I traveled and it's it's awesome. It has this little like wristlet here. It's really affordable um, and there's two different zippers. So you have one here in the front that opens up and looks like this. I have my little external um, like hard, not hard drive, my uh, for my memory card whenever I'm editing. And then in here, I put my long um, portable charger that has all those different cords on it. I'll put a picture of it in here if you guys don't know, don't know what I'm talking about, but I have it in a lot of my videos. It's actually on my desk right now, charging my mouse that died <laughs> last night. So anyways, I have that there. Um, and then over on this side, you have a little bit different of a setup, but it's perfect for cards and cords. And this, these are the other like earpieces to my AirPods. Um, this is my Apple Pencil. In here is my um, memory card case that I love because it's double-sided here. And you can fit a ton of different ones when you're like on the go. So that is what I have in here. I highly recommend this little thing for traveling or just on the go. Back here in these back two pockets, I actually have a Mina Bay Mia pouch set medium piece in each of these. Um, these pouches come in a set of three. There's a small, medium, and large. It also comes with a crossbody strap. They have them in nylon, they have them in leather. They are my favorite of all time pouches. They really, truly, sincerely are. Um, this here is the newest cocoa leather color. It is so good. Um, inside this one, I actually just have a bunch of like med stuff, if you will. It's like my mini on the go med kit. 
I have these emergency packs, I have band-aids, I have cough drops, I have tissues, I have my pill case that I never leave home without. It is labeled, it is beautiful, I love it. <laughs> I have that down in there and then I also have tucked kind of in the corner my son's inhaler because tis the season for allergies. We are already on the Claritin train. We are back on it. I love and hate this season at the same time. Over here in this pouch set, I have all of my small things, all of my cosmetic things, hundreds of lip products. I have my little on the go portable mirror thingy here that I love if I could open and show you. I also have down here my cuticle cream. I have, like I said, tons of lip products. This is my favorite lip treatment. It feels so, so good on my lips. This summer Fridays have been, has been like a really big favorite of mine. Lip liner, what else do I have down there? Like I said, it's, it's mainly a pouch of lip products, <laughs> but that is what lives in this one. This is the um, tan color, I believe, in the leather as well. Moving the bag around to the other side so you can see the setup of these pockets. You actually have two pockets down here at the bottom and then you have two more smaller pockets kind of up from it, which is really cool and it makes it really easy to get whatever you need out of here. In this pocket here, I just have my eyeglasses and I also have my hand cream that I'm still loving. And I think, what else do I have in that pocket? Altoids. Oh, Altoids and my Touchline hand sanitizer. So those are things I grab for pretty frequently. I have them down in here. I could put more. And then the only thing I have in this zip pocket at the top, again, it's really deep and really big, but I just have my um, AirPods in there just so they're kind of protected by themselves. I can grab them out. I know exactly where they're at. This is a case that I got off of Amazon that I love. It's let me like zoom in so you can see it better. They actually have this in a ton of different patterns and colors. This was my personal favorite one. There's a spot for you to charge it down here, a little loop if you wanna attach it to something. It will not open up on its own, which is good, um, unless you push down these two side kind of buttons. So it's like another way to like protect the case from like opening up on itself. And it's actually really um, reasonable as far as price. I think this was like 10 bucks. Moving over here to these two pockets down here, the only thing I have is a scrunchie. Yep, that's all I have down there. I have tons of room that I could put more. And then up here I have my wallet and my keys. This is a little card case that I got from Target that I've been loving. They have it in a couple of different colors. I like that this is a cream color with like a darker brown kind of trim on it. It's super, super soft and really high quality in my opinion for 10 bucks. Um, but it has a strong magnetic closure and then you have a spot for a ton of cards, receipts, and then you even have this little tiny zip pocket in the middle for like cash and change. It's been a favorite of mine. I really, really like it. All right, one last look at the inside so you can see all of the pockets <laughs> that this Emmy has um, and kind of get a good look at all of the internal organization. All right, I think that is it for today's video. I sure hope it was helpful for those of you that were interested in this Mina Bay Emmy bag. I will have my affiliate link with Mina Bay linked down below as well as the link to my What's in My Bag um, blog page so that you can see links to everything that I shared that was packed inside. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below or reach out. I'm always happy to help. Until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.